Hi people, this is Nettie again. Okay, um, it is so and so hot. Yesterday I think it was over 100 degrees. Today we're going through the same route and it's very hard. Okay, what I'm going to do today is take these out. I'm going to see if I put some over there, the smaller ones. Or in this canister right there, there's nothing in there. Because I need something big like this. Because I'm going to put my pigeon peas in a big canister. Remember somebody says, can you um, grow um, pigeon peas in a canister? I don't really know. So I'm going to try. Uh, it would be nice if I could do it right there, you know. I could have one in the balcony and one outside. But I noticed I have another one that is growing. I have put two. But the other one wasn't growing. And now I see something there. And when I check out the... Uh, it was like a... You know, that's like a bean. So I noticed it was the other um, pigeon peas. But that one, I'm going to grow it outside next to the big pigeon peas. So... Let me get going at this. And okay, I took the small ones. As you can see right here, there's four of them. This one, I found it out. I don't know what happened. But they still got coloring, so that means I could probably still save it. Um, I'm putting them here because I could have a more better watch. The bigger ones are always more stronger. These baby ones, they are the ones that die fast. So... Um, I took uh, four of them. I'm going to plant it and show you where I plant it. <coughs> so, I already replant. I replanted this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Which other one? Oh, yeah, and this one I think it was. <coughs> Sahara Desert, again. And I think this one. Uh, those are the ones because I took the little ones and said, well, I'm going to plant just the little ones. But then, I, have, I still have enough space, so I decided to put some more. As they grow here, is, um, I'll be taking them out to cook and things like that. And so they're not going to get so overboard. But when they do get overboard, I still got more canisters that I could put them in. I want to free that canister because I want to put my pigeon peas in there. And um, the rest, I'm going to put it in the other canister. And I'm going to do them individually. They tie, they're like together. So I'm going to separate them and put them in the other canister. Okay, so all these were together. I separated them and planted it here. Now I'm going to plant my pigeon peas over here. Okay, so I put the plant up. And, um, was this kidding me? <laughs> I put the plant up and, um... I try to tie it as good. When they're very small like this, they're very skinny, as you can see. But then they start growing, and they start getting thicker. I put some compost all the way in the bottom. I made a big down hole around to down here. And I, comp I put some compost there. And, you know, not very finished, but almost finishing. I put it down there so it could compost and give it vitamins i like usually to put banana or plantain but i ain't got none so i just put what i had and this is to lure the rats and the lizards and all that stuff i gotta put some in the back i'm gonna find more sticks and put in the back and then let that this grow here and i thought it had a lot of roots it had a little small root so this don't make too much root because the other one i took it out by myself the old one i took it out by myself it didn't have much root so that's why they're kind of weaky but um i'm gonna let them grow here and see what happens let me see if it gives me um pigeon peas i also planted back my big um pepper plant you know it's in a small case so i decided to change it so now they look like they're perky up they like it here and also my lemon tree my lemon plant was totally it was uh, the roots were all tangled in there they didn't have no space so i just planted it in here and let it grow so this will be all for now god bless you all until next time tomorrow i have to do another thing but i'll do the video for that tomorrow bye